Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be discussing the unit circle and its angles. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Recall muna natin yung definition ng angle. Pag sinabi nating angle, this is formed by two rays intersecting at a point. This is that point and we will call that the vertex. Now, yung space between them, yun yung tinatawag natin na angle and we will define that or we will represent that using this Greek letter theta. So, all throughout our lesson about trigonometry, we will be using theta to denote angle. Angles can be placed in standard position at para natin masabi na naka-standard position ang angle, kailangan na sa Cartesian planes siya at yung kanyang mga parts ay nandito sa mga places na ito. Una, yung vertex, yung point of intersection ng dalawang rays kailangan nandito sa origin. In the figure that you're looking at, andito yung vertex ng angle alpha, theta, and beta. Initial side. Pag sinabi natin initial side, ito yung side na pinagmumula ng rotation ng angle. Dito sa picture na to, ito yung black ray na nandito sa positive x-axis. And take note, it is always at the positive x-axis. Yun yung tinatawag natin na initial side. And finally, we also have the terminal side from the word itself, terminal or dulo. Ito ay pwedeng kahit saan makita sa Cartesian plane. Kung makikita nyo dito sa video, meron tayong angle alpha, yung naka-red. Yung kanyang terminal side ay yung kulay pula at yon ay nagtapos dito sa second quadrant. Meron din tayong theta na angle, yung kanyang terminal side naman nasa third quadrant. At yung ating angle beta, nandito yung kanyang terminal side sa fourth quadrant. Again, these terminal sides can be placed anywhere in the Cartesian plane. Pwedeng nasa mismong y-axis, nasa mismong x-axis, okay lang yon. Basta ang hindi pwedeng magalaw ay yung vertex at yung initial side. Directed angles. From the word itself, direction. Pag sinabing directed angles, yung terminal side ng angle, pwede siyang mag-move either clockwise or counterclockwise from the initial side. Sa first picture natin, yung initial side natin ay ito, itong horizontal kasi nga nasa positive x-axis siya. And yung terminal side, nandito sa taas niya, counterclockwise yung rotation nitong terminal side, yung movement ng terminal side. Kaya kapag counterclockwise, ang angle natin ay positive. Pero kung pababa naman or clockwise direction, yung ating movement from the initial to the terminal side, ang ating angle naman ay negative. This is very important dahil naka-standard position yung angle, may position na ginagawang reference, kaya yung direction from the initial side going to the terminal side should really be taken into consideration to know if the angle is positive or negative. Again, pag positive, dapat counterclockwise yung direction and negative naman kung clockwise yung direction ng angle. And for the last concept in this video, pag-uusapan natin yung tinatawag na unit circle. Ang unit circle ay nabubuo dahil meron tayong angle in standard position. Again, itong horizontal part ay yung initial side at ito yung ating terminal side. Ang nangyari kay terminal side, umikot siya ng isang revolution sa palibot ng quadrants natin at nakabuo ng circle na ganito. Pero may special condition. Yung ating sides, both the initial and terminal side, ang kanilang length ay 1 unit. Kung kaya naman, nun sila ay umikot, dumaan sila sa mga points na to. 1,0, 0,1, 1,0, and 0,1. Dahil dito, nakabuo tayo ng tinatawag na unit circle. Unit circle is defined as a circle kung saan yung center natin ay nasa origin, tapos yung radius natin ay 1 unit. Itong unit circle ang basis ng majority of the concepts in the trigonometry, kaya ito dapat ay talagang naiintindihan natin. 
Again, out of this unit circle, magde-define tayo ng iba't ibang mga parts and subsequently, iba't ibang trigonometric functions involving different angles. So that's it for the first part of our video. In the next video, pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa angle measurements at paano kino-convert from radian to degrees and vice versa. Thank you for watching! If you learned from this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon. See you on our next video!